wondered how to take that grocery store bouquet to the next level, you might just think, I'll pop it in this tall vase and I'm done. But in fact, if you put it in a nice low vase, it'll look great on your table and you'll wow your guests. I've got a great florist tip that's gonna turn you into a pro really fast. And if you don't know this, you should know this. I'm using florist tape and I'm gonna create a grid pattern on my low centerpiece. You'll notice my honeycomb pattern is not very close together and that's really because I like a loose garden inspired look. I'm starting with the greenery because that's really the best way to start your centerpiece. The greenery is gonna act as a web to hold your beautiful flowers in place. And the thing I love about this piece is it's got three shoots, which is gonna be great. I can use the whole stem. And a great way to decide where this is gonna live in your vase is to hold it right down on the table and you'll see the height and then you know where it's gonna be in your vase. You'll wanna clean anything off that falls below the water line. And this is because it'll create bacteria in your water and lead to your bouquet dying faster. I'm placing this Gerbera daisy front and center. It's my focus flower and it's gonna capture your eye when you're sitting at the dinner table. Next, I'm cleaning off my rose stem from any of the leaves that look blemished. And I'm taking off these guard petals. Guard petals naturally get bruised and you can clean those off with a quick pinch. These are line flowers. The reason they're called that is because they grow nice and tall with the blooms coming all the way up the stem. And these are great to add whimsy and dimension to your bouquet. And there you have it, a beautiful centerpiece for your dinner table tonight.